Plymouth Air Show. A big turnout to see round one of the King's Cup Air Race. Planes of all shapes and sizes mustered at Robra Airport to compete in the 100-mile two-circuit event. Pilots from Commonwealth and other overseas countries took part in the test of flying skill. <laughs> Sheila Scott and her famous Taito Comanche were there. It's a handicap event. It has to be. The fastest aircraft had a top speed of 400 miles an hour, the slowest about 60. So they took off at intervals with a time difference of 34 minutes between first and last. The Mustang of Charles Maysfield. Mustangs were wartime fighters, fast and maneuverable, so he was the last away. But once they were airborne, it was flying ability just as much as speed that counted. This was one of the turning points of the 50-mile triangular course. It was certainly a race full of excitement, both for spectators and flyers, as they came over the field for the first time. The faster planes had a lot of ground to make up. Not much time to admire the scenery when there are 30 aircraft in the sky, each one going flat out for the finishing line. This year, half the entrants for the Royal Aero Club sponsored race were newcomers to the sport, an indication of its popularity. But the finishing line was in sight, and this was one time when speed did tell. First was the Mustang of Charles Maysfield. For the winner, 50 pounds and a place in the King's Cup race. But money wasn't everything that awaited the victor. It's pretty thirsty work tearing around the sky. Takes it out of a man. It's great to refuel. 